ya tinga tinga la ubomoaji limefika kwenye hoteli ya Grand Mana eneo la Gigiri na kuanza kuliporomosha jengo hilo japo shirika ama ushirika wa wenyeji unashabikia ubomozi huo wawakilishi wa ujenzi na mmiliki Praful Kumar wanashikilia kwamba wameonewa makna maso na taarifa hiyo baada ya vuta ni kuvute ya miezi kadhaa hatimaye serikali ya kaunti ya Nairobi imeruhusiwa kubomoa hoteli ya Grand Mana eneo la Gigiri. Tinga tinga likianza shughuli hizo saa tisa alfajiri. Kwa mujibu wa mwanakamati mmoja wa ushirika wa wakazi wa Gigiri, hoteli hiyo inayomilikiwa na mfanyabiashara Praful Kumar imekuwa kero kwa muda. They applied for change of user in 2013. We objected to change of user. They then kept quiet and then in 2015 they came back and reapplied for change of user. Again we objected. But uh, after about a few months we started seeing developments going on. Construction started. Mvutano huu ukifika kwenye serikali ya kaunti, mamlaka ya mazingira nema na hata jopo la kushughulikia mizozo ya mazingira. The owner or the developer never showed up at the meeting. He sends proxies. Hata hivyo umiliki wa jengo una mtazamo tofauti. Matters have been there, they are still there, but the city council just comes in without formal and valid notice. Baadhi ya malalamishi dhidi ya hoteli hiyo ni kuwa orofa zake nne zinaharisha usalama wa balozi kama za Marekani, Botswana na Morocco, mbali na makao makuu ya shirika la umoja wa mataifa kuhusu mazingira UNEP. Tarehe nne mwezi Agosti mwaka huu, miliki wa jengo hilo Praful Kumar alifikishwa mahakamani na kuachiliwa kwa dhamana baada ya kisa kinachodaiwa kuwa cha kujaribu kumhonga gavana wa Nairobi Mike Sonko ili kupata kibali cha kuendelea na ujenzi wa hoteli hiyo. Ubomozi wa mijengo iliyojengwa kwenye hali tata umeonekana kama njia moja kupambana na ukiukwaji wa sheria lakini ni subra tu kuona vita hivi vitaelekea wapi Mark na Maswa KTN News Gigiri Nairobi